Hi and welcome back to my channel. My name is Monica. Today we're going to be watching The Sandman episode 8 and I am pretty excited to check this one out mostly because we had a lot of discussion happening in the episode 7 uh, reaction for The Sandman. There was a lot going on. If you didn't watch it, you should check it out and then come back here. But uh, my friend Obina and I reacted to that episode and there was so much to talk about um let's go into our brief recap so we learned of rose walker now rose walker according to dream and everyone else from the sandman uh she's like a dream vortex ask me what exactly that means i have no clue but from the information that i've gathered it seems like she's kind of like she has an ability to destroy dreams um world i think is dreaming state is dreaming world i want to call it i believe so yes so she has that kind of power and even desire although desire is not going out of her way to um get uh rose walker to do anything she says that Ro uh that the vortex has this kind of power where it draws people in so uh i'm gonna check to see exactly what they mean and i hope they expand on expand on this uh, vortex meaning we know we cannot find uh, Rose Walker's brother that's one instance and for another instance dream thinks that one of his nightmares probably did something so we're trying to figure out what happened to Rose Walker's brother in this episode and we also saw that uh, Rose Walker met dream in the dream world like she just popped in there like hey where am I who am I what what's going on here and they're like, hey girl, how do you get here? So um, we're gonna check out <laughs> we're gonna check out episode eight today. Um, I'm pretty sure there's a lot of information to get into. So let's let's just go, guys. A Netflix series, Warner Brothers production. Hey, I tell you, Sandman, Sandman, a high rating for you, man. A high rating for you. Oh, Rose. Welcome here, Rose Walker. Who are you? You have somehow dreamed your way into an audience with Lord Morpheus. The King of Dreams. Mm -hmm. And now you must go. Lucien. <laughs> Lucien is really hostile. I get it, I get it. If there's somebody who could potentially destroy a ream that you guys has been working have been working on for like thousands plus of years. Yeah, I get it. Yeah. No. But I should like her to stay. What is this place? You're in the dreaming. The place where people come when they sleep. So I'm asleep right now. I'm dreaming. Yes. And I should like to know how it is you found me. I heard you talking about my brother. Is he here? No. Do you know where he is? No. But I think he might be with one of my missing nightmares. She's a nightmare? What would she want with Jed? But I have a feeling it has something to do with you. Me? Why? What did I do? It is not what you did. It is what you are. I'm sorry. Like, just his facial expression, he seems so like... What is the word? His eyes and his, his face, he's just so impressed, you know? He is very impressed right now. I don't understand any of this. No. Dream vortexes are largely He has a slight smile going on What's right a dream there? vortex? You are. You see, once every few thousand years, a mortal <laughs> is born the size of the girl. Ability so powerful, she can travel through the dreams of others. Apparently, all the way to my throne room. Mm. I was just looking for my brother. If you can find me in the dreaming, you can find your brother, no matter where gold has hidden him. How? How do I do that? For now, keep looking for your brother in the waking world. Matthew will watch over you there. At your service, Rose. When he is with you, I am with you. Then tonight, when you sleep, you and I will go in search for gold and your brother together. In your dreams. 
She's just a nightmare, right? She can't just hurt him, can she? I find it very interesting that, that this girl just took in all of the information given to her and uh, she's like, yes, I believe you 100%. I bet a whole set of strange things has been happening to her for a long time for her to believe this so quickly. Oh, it's you, madam. I would have never believed. one of my enemies is at this time Johnny Sorrow ah. the Phantom of the Fair or is Dr. Death back for more you lying to me that's the Pied Piper he appears to be using next gen sonic technology to well damn all the time we're looking for Jed and we have this is the nightmare, right? I'm hoping I'm right. And the nightmare is out there protecting. Yo! Control all the area's children. This looks like a job for... The Sandman. Or is he having a dream? Oh my. Look at me going ahead and draw a conclusion. Oh, this is cool. He's dreaming. He's definitely dreaming. I don't know if this is cute or terrifying. <laughs> Can you hear that? The Piper's tune. Can you hear where it's coming from? I this, can. This, this night, I want to say nightmare. This person is like organizing all of these different things to like, this guy is probably, this little boy, Jed, is probably experiencing trauma or a nightmare because living with these crazy people. And that person is probably like making things nice, I guess, for him when he dreams. <laughs> Can I show you? I don't think that's a good thing to happen. Yes, if it happened in the dream, but... Uh, uh. Then she becomes so dependent on this happening. Never wants to wake up. Never wants... Never wants to wake up like what happened to Rose Walker's grandmother. I hate the Sandman. They just create this lovely scene and then I'm betting that they're gonna, they're gonna rip it apart, they're gonna rip us apart, they're gonna stab us in the heart and um, we're gonna lose. Once you fall for this niceness that's going on here, we're gonna lose in the end. This is so man. Huh. Why did you build this? How? You have to stay with me. Here. In our house the way we plan. I told you. Well, I told Sorry. myself. People all over the world who fell asleep and could not wake up. Unity Kincaid is the sole survivor of what they called the sleepy sickness. The day you returned, she woke up. Mm -hmm. Rose Walker is her great granddaughter. Great granddaughter, okay. Which would seem to suggest that my absence caused the birth of a vortex. Is that not a possibility? Vortexes are naturally occurring phenomena. No one knows where they happen, not even I know, but I do know they are not caused or created. to deal with other people's uh, grief. Because that's what it was. It wasn't you. It was kind of hard to come by, but, but she is out looking for her brother. I think she really just wants to know if he's okay. I'm sure he is. How could you be so sure? That's the thing. Because me and my friend Obina, we were having this discussion about this particular topic whereby, you know, she's saying that 
when people work in certain jobs, like maybe they're doctors or as she is, a social worker, they get desensitized to certain um, issues that happen. But at that point, you cannot forget to be human. It, it's a difficult job and over time it gets emotional, emotionally draining, yes, but you cannot be a bee, a bee. She's being a bee right now. You can't be like that. Explain the system, yes. If, if Sometimes when you take on a job like that, you just have to breathe and try your best to let these people know how uh, it works, how the law works, how the procedures work, you know, instead of just, ugh. Is there any way you could find out, check up on him? You wouldn't have to tell us. I don't want to get you in trouble, but do you do follow-up visits? We do, but I can't just... No, I understand. Call her back. Fine, I'll do it. He is such an a-hole because when you call her back, you're just reinforcing that something isn't right. <laughs> okay, this will this would go well for me personally, for us who just want Rose Walker to find her brother because this guy is a mean guy and he does not deserve the leisure of being happy at all. You don't think that's gonna raise a red flag? Kidding. If you don't want him here, we can give him back. That's all I've been saying in my mind. If you don't want it, the boy, the thing, the person, divorce it, give it back, break up with it. Him, her, they, Look! Simple solution. Don't make it difficult for everyone involved. I'm not giving back $800 a month. Oh yeah, there's that. Get him up here. I'll talk to him. I'll, I'll make sure he doesn't run away again. No. I'll talk to him. What a sick, sick, sick guy. Come on up, Jet. Don't you guys work? You all right? It looks like a devil. The woman from the foster agency is coming to check up on you. If you're good, you can sleep in your own bed tonight. But if you embarrass us in front of this woman, I will take you back into the cellar. I will wire your hands to the pipes down there. And I will break every bone in your body. Ah, oh, Jed, risk it. Risk it. <laughs> risk it all, man. No, he would do that regardless if you do anything. For the next 10, 15 years of your life. Listen, risk it. Do you understand? I'm gonna put a few up over there, so if you maybe want to. Oh yeah, absolutely. I'll catch up with you. Shit! Shite! Shite! Corinthian! Corinthian is here. This guy, this guy, this guy. Is that you? No, that's a crow. <laughs> I'm a raven. Common mistake. So good to see you, Miss Rubio. Good to see you too, Jet. Jet is the Jet is the actor that we're looking for right now. Open that bag, woman. Oh no! Hello. How can I help you? 
I have a question for you. Have you seen this boy? Why can't, why can't nothing work out? Nothing can go to plan, nothing... Ah! Oh. Mm. Grand Clarice and I want you to know we were very impressed with the way you got this note into that lady's bag. I'm sorry. No, you're not. Justice, where is justice when you need it? Where is the justice when you need it, man? This like this is so messed up. Ah, uh, every time, every time. There, there is no like Sandman episode where I can just sit and chill. I always have to be feeling something. But you will be. Oh my goodness. All the, all the lady wanted to do was just mind her business and... <sighs> Boy. Must have all gone to bed. This man eats it. it. I thought he just took it out for fun, but he, he indulges in it. He tastes it. He likes the texture of eyeballs. Dead. There's not much to do. Barbie and Ken. Don't get me wrong, I love them, they're great. But if Broadway called tomorrow, I would sell this fucking house. And I would never think about any of these people ever again. Go to grad school. Write a novel. About me. But do it now. While I'm still cute enough to play myself in the movie. Because this was never my dream. Didn't have to put it like that. Damn. Listen carefully. I'm only gonna say this once. Ah, now I realize what's going on. Well, I was trying to figure it out while it was happening, but apparently, because Rose, of course, she's the vortex. She's, I guess you could say, peeking into some his dream and watching what's happening. This is not my real face. This is not my real face either. How? You're gonna have to come up here and help me. Mama's running out of hands. Of reading it into the Library of Congress. Bruce? I am still thinking about that woman that died recently. Um, it's still in the back of my brain. I, I just needed to say that. <laughs> battle is mine to face. And mine alone. We'll see about that. Jet, Jet, come back, please! What's our next move? How do we find him? Or 
send you both to Dreamland. Jeff? I am the Guardian of Sleepers. I am Lord of the Dream Domain. I am the Sandman. You are the Sandman. Is that what she told you? Where is she? You must. They're home. They're in Homeland. Where is that? Where's Homeland, Jack? Come, Gold. We must go. How is Gold supposed to be a nightmare? She's like... She's really nice to Jet, at least. I'm sorry, Sandman. It's time to wake up, Jed. Wait, no! Goodbye, Rose Walker. Stop! Not yet, Jed! Tell me where you are! Rose? Rose? Rose! Somebody will beat this fool up. Ah! Ah-ah! With the buckle? You expecting someone? But my thought process on this whole thing that's happening here, right? If he died, how is he appearing? Oh gosh, I know it's a vortex, but wasn't shouldn't his soul shouldn't death have come and, and take his soul away? So that's the kind of thing I don't really understand. His soul not supposed to be in existence since he died. But I mean there's a vortex. So what are you telling me? Are you telling me like the vortex? has so much power that even death in her, I want to call it dominion over death, cannot change what is happening here between uh, Rose Walker's Vortex and uh, her friend. I don't know if I explained that properly, but if you understand me, let me know in the comment section. Oh no! <laughs> I'm looking at her stomach. I want to see if she came out there looking pregnant. <laughs> What? Humans cannot live in dreams. As long as he stayed there, the child had no life, nor the chance for one. The boy is being abused. He's suffering. You abuse that suffering to build a dreaming you could rule. I had no wish to rule. I merely wish to be a dream and not a nightmare. To inspire rather than to frighten. The choice is not yours to make. We do not choose to be created, nor do we choose how we are made. That is true. But we can change. No. We are, each of us, born. All have returned. Do you think they came back out of love? Or because they were afraid of what you would do to them if they did not? Because I'm not afraid. You should be. A nightmare's purpose is to reveal a dreamer's fears that they may face them. Perhaps a few thousand years in the darkness will reveal your fears. Oh, 
why my eyes burn. Why is this show written like this? I get what Goal is saying, 100%. I also get what Dream is saying. And I, I, it's just like such a dilemma to be placed in. You must be Jed. Your sister sent me. Your sister Rose. My little brother, Jed, he lives with them. Is he inside? Is he okay? There was no one else inside. Just the two adult victims. Wherever your brother is, he's not here. I don't. But I'm really looking forward to meeting her. All right, everyone. Um, that episode was tough. I want to thank everybody for watching this episode with me. I didn't really think that episode eight was gonna be so emotional. I mean, with every episode for the Sandman, it just keeps like. I don't know, like, what are these writers on, man? No, today I felt like I, I almost shed some tears. I hate the part of me that are, I don't know if it happens to any of you guys, but usually when I read certain words, like words, like they, they connect so hard in my brain because I can imagine the emotions and I can imagine what is going on in somebody's head during, um, when they say these things. To me, just, watching uh gold emphasize her hatred of for being a nightmare and she just wants to be someone who could i guess protect inspire uh someone when they're dreaming it's at a start and i did not believe that was gold because she was helping a child and i see how happy that made her feel you know and it's it's a tough it's a tough decision it's a tough decision i don't think any one person could be right or could be wrong because I do believe in responsibilities and she was made with the thought process of hey you're a nightmare and this is your role this is your responsibility but it comes a time where sometimes we don't want to do those so-called roles and responsibilities and I definitely can feel that but I also believe that responsibility somebody has to do it right somebody has to take on that load of responsibility even dream said it himself the endless are what people have told me in the comment section, they're a force of nature. So I don't think you can change your responsibility if you're the king of dreams. It's been like from the beginning, from the inception, you've been the king of dreams. You don't suddenly turn into something else. You you have a role to play. Even that, when, what that said uh, last episode, that she realized she needed humans as much as humans needed her, death. Um, she began to be that that specific responsibility not despising it just accepting her role as death um, that's that's very difficult it's a very difficult topic to speak on having Corinthian there in the last episode he's just like he is just oh, I don't know, man. Corinthian is just making things difficult he's a nightmare <laughs> he what like guys i don't know man why is the sandman the sandman is such a fantastic uh fantasy series i don't I, what i want to say it's like one of the best um fantasy series we've seen i've seen this year i'm gonna give it that this 
Sandman has been one of the best series I've seen this year because with the amount of emotional roller coaster I've been on since episode one, it's just too much for me. Every like every time I watch these episodes, I feel like I feel like I have to sleep after. Yes, it's just a lot to process. Um, big news! I started. Come on guys, we're on a road to 500 subscribers. Um, don't forget to like this video, leave your thoughts in the comment section, and 